Hi, I'm Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions. Today we're in Arizona. We're at the roadside mine. This is a large epithermal deposit. That means the gold is coming up. This mine is also a large commercial site that has been drilled and we have pages and pages and pages of drill data on this. The gold is good on this site. The gold is what you're gonna get. As you can tell, it's super windy out here, so you're not gonna get a lot of people laughing about this mine. This is a large mine that you can recover a lot of gold from. We're gonna walk the whole perimeter of it, show it all, show it all to you, and let's see it. Okay, this mine dates back to the 1870s, 1880s. Gold has been pulled out as far back as then. There's wells on this property. There is power on this property. This is a mine that a guy with a smaller budget, you know, 250 to $500,000 could get up and running and start developing. It's been milled on this site. So you have everything that you need to work. You can see where little cuts have been made all over. When the mine first started out, they went down first in shafts. When they came back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, they started opening that up, like you'll see over here, and just taking the mine, the ore out in large, just massive buckets and processing it out up here, which is where we're at. So prospect, because there's a nice little outcrop out here is what you got here. One thing that the uh, prospectors 1870s, 1880s didn't really get up on was the fact that there's a lot of copper out here. Uh, when Newmont came out here and the Catherine Mine was out here working from the 60s into the 80s, that's what they were really looking for. The gold was great, but copper was what they were finding. There's a large copper deposit out here. And again, as we've said, copper is gonna make you some money. You can see right here, and this is not gonna be, everything that they're really getting is above grade, but there's a little quartz vein right here that runs along and it's kind of bluish and greenish all the way along. That indicates copper. The back of this wall, the color of that is more copper than gold. The gold is gonna be probably in some darker iron stuff. We've got a lot of material here to do assays. Assays have been done by Newmont, assays have been done by Ascaro. There's, yeah, there's so much data on this and it just needs somebody to put a little bit of money into it and start mining it. Okay, here's a fun game for everybody to play at home. Go to your Google Earth, find this site, and look back on it. Look back to your 2012, 2010. Look back at the old imagery. You're gonna see tons of old tanker trucks out here and machinery and some shacks. That is all remnants of what was out here. This was being pit mined at that time and being processed. The permits went to shit, things went south, who knows? You know how that all goes. But uh, in 2014, 2015, the BLM came out and cleared all of this out. They put a big fence with barbed wire around it, and that's what you see right now. But it's fun to see how just, you know, less than a decade ago, they were still doing operations out here and making some money when nobody else was. So, so something that you'll notice as we walk around here is palm trees. Palm trees need a ton of water. And you're looking at this going, there's no palm trees anywhere else except for right here on the roadside. There's one sitting right there that's still living. Why is there palm trees out here? Because the water table is super low where we're at. And by super low, I mean, you're only gonna go down about hundred feet till you hit a lot of water. There's already a well established on this. So that means you're not gonna do a whole bunch of permitting. You're just gonna be getting it reestablished. And as you know, water is something that you're gonna need for mining. You're saying, palm trees, boom, boom, boom. The rest of this desert, not a damn thing. There's your water for your mining operations. So we're coming to wrap up around on the highest point of the mine, but if you look out here, we're on the other side, you can see pit, pit, big cuts that have been made out. This is all material that they were working on when they were drilling this, and they were trying to prove up more of the reserves. There is documented reserves on this property, so it's not like, hey, maybe I'll get some gold. There is gold. You just need to come down and get it. Watch your step. So right now we're down here where the mill was. So we've got foundations down here. You've got your cut-ins for your machinery. A lot of this has all been torn out, which is too bad, but we're gonna kind of walk around. You can see there's some more there that's been sitting. 
and we are a straight pull from here right into the mine workings. So basically straight up, you can see the separation where they separated the material and then they were processing right here. Behind me, you can see where they kind of got into the mine. This is not how you're going to work this mine. You're going to pit this out. The benefit of seeing what you're seeing right now is that you can see some of the minerals that you're going to be coming into. Again, these are epithermal veins, so they all are coming straight up. That's where you're gonna find your biggest pockets and you're gonna work straight down. This, they just kind of undercut. It's kind of leftover workings from the old 1870s, 1880s, when they were really digging in underground. When uh, Newmont and Escaro came in here in the 80s, they were working on pitting all of this out. That was where they were doing their processing. They're basically just taking this material, scooping it out and processing. All this has been drilled, and you'll see where it's been drilled in some of other results. And there's all reserves in all of this. So there is tons of material here for you to come out and start extracting and working on a commercial scale. Literally hundreds of millions of dollars. So if you look up, you can see kind of how the uh, ground is formed. Like right above me, there's a big void of dirt. Straight up dirt. That's not rock, that's not conglomerate. It's just a pocket of dirt. Probably been there for, I don't know, a million years. It's bit by bit coming down. Just coming down here to give you a little view of what's down here. What's a little different than the last time we were down here is runoff. Last time we were down here, this whole thing was full of water. And I'm not a big fan of stagnant, nasty water, unless you're paying me a million bucks to go walk through it. So, yeah, this is pretty awesome. The uh, portal that we've got here works all the way around. Good for survey because we can get a little more information for you. So back there, we've got kind of a big open um, stope is probably the best word for it. You have a stope and then you've got a shaft that cuts down here, cuts back under it. That definitely matches up with all of the historical data of, you know, coming down 100, 120 feet and then working through all the gold deposits that were down here. The gold that they found in the early years of the mine was, you know, one and a half to two ounces of gold per ton. As uh, Newmont got in here, they were finding like 0.3 ounces to the ton which is still hugely awesome for a commercial operation because you're taking all of this, not just the vein, all of this, and still getting 0.3 ounces. One of the joys of Arizona and deep caves like this that you're gonna find is uh, mud wasps. And there is a shit pile of mud wasp, mud wasp hives up here. Luckily we're March, so I think they're largely dormant. Give them another month or two and they'll be all over the place to eat you. There's a drill hole over here too, you can see, like we talked about all the drill work that was done here. There's also some survey markers in here. Might be able to match R6200. Or maybe that's 6209. Might be a really bad nine. But I'm going to get out of here before some wasps wake up. We just finished a resurvey of the roadside mine, which has epithermal, epithermal deposits and blocked reserves. That's hard to come by these days. For more information and for our technical report, go to our website, www.goldrushexpeditions.com. For Gold Rush, I'm Jessica, and we'll see you at the next site.